Have you ever heard about the rain of fish? Well, there is a place in the world where fish rain occurs every year. Have you ever seen a pyramid like this? On these pyramids, who brought these huge stones and rocks and how did they end up at such massive heights? In today's video, we will show you 10 phenomena that you may not have heard of before. Among these phenomena, there is one where water gushes out from a mulberry tree like a waterfall. In East Africa, specifically in Tanzania, there is a lake where birds that fly over it turn into rocks. You may not have heard of this phenomenon before, but it actually happens in Lake Natron. In this lake, there are numerous bird statues that were once flying creatures but have now transformed into rocks. There is no confirmed evidence as to why the birds that fly over the lake end up falling into the water and turning into rock formations. However, some researchers believe that the reflective nature of the lake attracts the birds towards it, and once they fall into the water, the high concentration of soda and salt causes their bodies to fossilize into rocks. Have you ever heard of this type of phenomenon before? During a rainstorm, you may have witnessed hail and enjoyed it at that time. On February 8, 2018, a similar phenomenon occurred in Argentina where it rained and hailed, but the hailstones were incredibly dangerous. With strong winds, hailstones the size of tennis balls were falling from the sky. These hailstones were so large that if they hit someone's head, it would cause serious damage. They were falling everywhere, causing extensive destruction. Some car windows were shattered, resulting in injuries for many people, some of which were severe. While hailstorms have been observed around the world, hailstones of this magnitude, like the ones in Argentina, are rarely seen. In the Gulf of Alaska, there is a location where two oceans appear to be merging, but they never mix. As you can see in the video, one side of the water is blue while the other side appears brown and muddy. If you sail across the dividing line, these two bodies of water will not blend. The brownish water is from the glacier, resembling muddy water, while the blue water originates from streams. Researchers believe that the difference in salinity, temperature, and the presence of fresh and salt water in this area prevent the mixing of these two waters. This border stretches for 800 kilometers, and there is no point along this border where the two oceans intermingle. In 2012, over 20 tons of herring fish were discovered dead on the seaside of Norway, and mysteriously, all of these fish disappeared overnight. The cause of this significant event remains unexplained, as nobody can provide a proper explanation. Many scientists have attempted to analyze this incident based on their expertise, but none have accurately explained how over 20 tons of fish died on the beach and subsequently vanished. Some experts suggest that a massive storm may have washed the fish ashore, while others propose that a large predator fish could have chased the smaller fish, leading them to come ashore and die. Additionally, some speculate that a disease outbreak may be responsible. However, no one has presented concrete evidence regarding this incident. In Pennsylvania, on top of the mountain, there is a mysterious place filled with enormous rocks, and nobody knows why or how these rocks ended up there. These rocks intrigue people because when struck, they produce musical sounds, with each rock having its unique tone. People visit this place and thoroughly enjoy it, and similar rocks can be found all over the world. However, the mechanism behind the production of these sounds has different theories among scientists. Some believe that these rocks are composed of diabase, which is present in the Earth's crust, and their specific structure allows for sound production. According to another theory, when one rock is struck, it produces a low-frequency sound that is inaudible to us but the vibrations transfer to other rocks. 
The frequencies then interact with each other, resulting in amplified sound that we can hear. Nevertheless, nobody is entirely certain about these explanations, which is why it remains a mystery. This is a river known as the Boiling River, which happens to be the only one of its kind in the world. This river spans 6.4 kilometers in length, and anything that falls into it does not survive due to its scorching temperature of nearly 100 degrees Celsius, capable of boiling a human within minutes. Its extreme hot water gives it the name Boiling River. According to scientists, a river like this should not exist unless there is active lava nearby. However, there is no active lava nearby, in fact, it is approximately 700 kilometers away. This baffles scientists as they cannot determine the cause of this boiling water. If someone's hand or foot is immersed in this lake for even half a second, they would suffer severe third-degree burns. Falling into the river would result in death. In 1986, during construction, workers made a surprising discovery, a fully enclosed cave, located in Romania. The astonishing fact about this cave is that it had been sealed off for 5.5 million years. For many years, there had been no sunlight or air inside. Upon excavation, the workers uncovered a lake consisting of sulfuric acid instead of water, along with highly toxic gases. Despite the presence of numerous harmful gases, bacteria and small creatures were found to be living within the cave, surviving amidst these toxic conditions for 5.5 million years. Many of these creatures had never been seen on Earth before. The existence of these extraordinary organisms raises intriguing questions about how they managed to survive in such a toxic environment for hundreds of thousands of years. In the village of Dinosa in Montenegro, there is a mulberry tree from which water gushes out like a waterfall, amazing many people who witness it. You might also be curious about why this tree exhibits such a phenomenon. It's not magic, rather, it's a simple natural occurrence. When there is heavy rainfall in the village, the underground water level rises, creating pressure that forces water to be released from a weak part of the tree. This particular tree is not unique, as similar instances of water gushing from trees like waterfalls can be found in various parts of the world, including forests. After witnessing these massive sand mountains, you may wonder who placed these enormous rocks on top and how they were brought up there, considering the lower parts are empty. It is possible that these rocks were deliberately placed on the mountains, or they may have formed naturally. In Italy's South Tyrol region, these peculiar mountains are known as Earth Pyramids. They are primarily formed as a result of heavy rainfall and subsequent dryness. When heavy rain occurs in mountainous areas, the land is eroded, leading to the formation of these unique structures. These pyramids are usually protected from strong winds, which could otherwise disturb their formation. The presence of stones plays a crucial role in shaping these pyramid-like structures. Since the mountains are made of sand, during heavy rainfall, the land separates except where large and heavy rocks are present. As a result, the sand accumulates and forms these fascinating phenomena. You may not have heard of fish rain, but you might have come across videos related to it on social media. This phenomenon may not be new to you. However, there is a place in the world where fish rain occurs every year, consistently in the same location. This place is located near Mexico, and this annual fish rain has been happening for over 100 years. According to the local people, in the 18th century, when people were suffering from hunger, a religious leader prayed for three days, and since then, fish rain has occurred every year. This is the belief of the local residents. On the other hand, some scientists suggest that this phenomenon could be attributed to water spouts. Water spouts form over the ocean and carry fish up into the clouds, which then fall as rain. 
However, the big question remains, why is it only in this particular city, 200 kilometers away from the ocean, that fish rain occurs? And if this explanation is true, why don't other marine creatures also fall along with the fish? That's why I believe this place remains an unsolved mystery.